the, the mugging, the pulling of faces in, in Bean. I mean, what, did you do that as a routine? Was that part of it? Yeah, that started when I was yeah, at the University of Oxford, really. That's when I started doing entirely visual stuff. Uh, and for the first time ever, you know, I, you know, when I was about 20, whenever that was, I remember, you know, standing in front of a, a bathroom mirror and just sort of gurning, I suppose, just uh, pulling faces for the sake of it. Like that. Um, and it was... <laughs> <laughs> you know, just suddenly, you know, very extreme. <laughs> um, you know, just where the, you know, where, where the extremeness of of, um, of that character's. I mean, I hope he's not too extreme. But I love the, I love the sort of the insularity of Mr. Bean. This sort of self-centeredness, which reflects in the fact that, you know, if I have to get myself into the part, I don't need an or a situation or a prop in order to to create him you just have to you know <laughs> you know it's just it's a terror it's all it's all about him yes. and where he sits in the world he's quite sort of he's got a sort of an invisible shell around him yeah. he's hugely popular internationally isn't he yes it, it is bizarre actually the it's it's <laughs> It's, it's, it's something that I try not to think about very much, because actually if I ever do, you know, stop and dwell on, on how well known my face is in so many obscure yes. corners of the world, that, that, that I think I'm, I would find it rather disturbing. And Are you made aware of it when you go back? I'm being slightly disturbed about it, even talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yes, I'm aware. No, you hear ex extraordinary things about, you know, like a friend of mine making a documentary for comic relief and going into Africa, you know, into some of the most uh, deprived areas of Africa and going to this, you know, little African village where there's no water, no electricity, no services, and no, no nothing, no food in all likelihood, and, and just a few huts, and in the largest hut, the entire village was gathered, <laughs> and there was a grainy, tiny, black and white screen showing a Mr. Bean video.